last weekend in the beginning of November in Sydney City, I attended briefly the protest that was in Hyde Park, pro-Palestinian anti-Israel protest, which was attempting to sway the position of our federal government. And it was interesting listening to the rhetoric from the protest organizers speaking to the crowd to rev them up and to galvanize some kind of unity between disparate groups using the anti-colonial, post-colonial argument for the disenfranchised indigenous population in this country who about a month ago lost a referendum which was designed to bring about a change to the constitution to recognize indigenous people as a voice to parliament and the population of Australia voted against that and so there was a number of people who'd been supporting that passionately believing that it was a cause for justice and not a division between people groups in this country and they lost the debate so there's a, a bit of bitterness and the pro-Palestinian protest picked up on that as an opportunity to align themselves with the post-colonial argument against the policy of Australia to support America and to support Israel, pro-Israel. So it was interesting, I was able to pray for a young man in the crowd who was holding up a Jesus Saves sign bravely in Pitt Street Mall, his name was Alex and it was a really fantastic opportunity to be able to encourage and embolden him, a brave young soul who was standing alone amongst the crowds of people who also are hostile to Christian doctrine and Christians as well.